Hey everyone, this is Jason Smith here in beautiful Beijing. It is after International New Year and it's almost Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. Behind me we have what how Chinese people traditionally prepare their homes for the New Year. 2023 is going to be Year of the Rabbit. So these are called couplets. There's always two of them, which is good luck. Red is a color of prosperity and gold also a color of prosperity. And this one is rabbit, good luck for the new year. Five luck on the door. And you can also, sometimes they have it above, sometimes they don't. We have the above and rabbits everywhere. What we're going to show you today is when you go to the grocery store in China, all the different things that you can buy, the accoutrements of Chinese New Year. Christmas has its stuff. Uh, other holidays have their stuff. Easter has rabbits and eggs each year. What do Chinese people use to bring in the Lunar New Year? Come with us and we'll show you. As you can see, there are decorations for Chinese New Year up at the mall on the way to the store to show you Chinese New Year decorations. So we're gonna talk about just this kind of thing. Down at the bottom of this escalator and just a little bit in is a Care 4. Now, I don't actually go to Care 4 that often. I usually go to the local Chinese grocery store. It's a lot cheaper if you want to get meat, vegetables, that kind of thing. But Care 4 does have a lot of specialty foods that us foreigners like. Wow, walking into the grocery store, you see a ton of red. What is that? Why? Because it's Chinese New Year. So we have rabbits of all sizes, big rabbits, small rabbits. This is actually an old gold emblem that Tsai Shen, he's a god, the god of money, Tsai Shen is holding. Come on. Giant rabbits, little rabbits, different cute rabbits. Why? Year of the rabbit. Every year, whatever year it is, you can get that animal. My wife and I have collected snakes and tigers and all kinds of things. Tiny rabbits. Oh wow. This is Tsai Shen. So if you want to put this decoration around your house, it's going to bring you money. God of money brings money. You want, here's another Tsai Shen. Rabbits, rabbits, lanterns for Lantern Festival, 15th day of, of the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, more rabbits. You can hit, people hang these up essentially around their homes. Rabbits, a lot of these mean Fu. Fu means fortune, good fortune. These are couplets that you might hang up around your door and other places in your home. Over here, these are lanterns, strings of lanterns. I actually have this exact same one in my home. And more couplets. Wow, there's so much more to see. Hang on. Tiny little lantern. Aren't they cute? You could put this in your car and hang it. Oh, fireworks. So, everyone knows firecrackers. Scare away the old luck, bring in the new luck. And fish, fish are also two fish, usually swimming around each other. Also, a symbol of prosperity and longevity. Longevity. I buy these decorations every year. I've never seen this particular configuration or style, but they just have so much stuff here. Monster sized couplets. If you have a giant door, I guess. If you, were, if you were a giant. There's more to see, so hang on, come over here. These are usually supposed to be lanterns, but they've made like little rabbit configurations. And over here, ah, what the children remember, you buy these, you fill them with cash, and you give them to young people, especially children. But anyone younger than you, especially people who haven't already entered the workforce, if they're, you know, three years old or they're 13 years old, you put like 100 kwai, 600 kwai, special numbers, 660 kwai, 880 kwai, 222 kwai, 999 kwai. Eight means uh, luck and prosperity. Nines mean longevity. And you give this. It's almost a solemn responsibility. It's a solemn responsibility for adults. So if you were an uncle, an aunt, a mom, a grandma, you have to give money to your nieces, nephews, and other small children in your family. Chinese Zodiac. It is rich with history and tradition. It has so, there's so much there, it's not just about 12 animals. But, there is something special. You see my socks? They are red. Now, I'm a snake and it is not the year of the snake, but there are all kinds of reasons to wear red year round to protect yourself from evil spirits. And you see all of these socks. Why? Why are there so many red socks? It's because if it is your year or a special year, 
you may need to wear red year round. So a lot of people get around this by either wearing red underwear or red socks. Red socks are a favorite lately. And these have Phoenix and dragons on them. Now they have different size knots. These are for good luck. And you hang these in the door. You can hang them in other places as well. They have the two fish configuration. You can also get, obviously, fireworks. And here in Beijing, there's a rumor that fireworks might be allowed inside the fifth ring, but you can definitely get them outside of the fifth ring. That means that in the periphery areas of Beijing as opposed to the core, and fireworks are like Chinese New Year fireworks. There's a lot of other symbols and customs besides these accoutrements, kinds of food, eating fish with the head pointed at the the highest member of the family, eating dumplings, eating noodles, all kinds of rich traditions associated with Chinese New Year's. But well, I'm gonna teach you one thing right now that you can take home, that you can start using with your friends today. For all of my foreign friends who don't know any Chinese, I wanna teach you one phrase, Happy New Year. Xin nian kuai la. Xin nian kuai la. Xin nian kuai la. And this means Happy New Year. Go out on the street, try that out with your friends. All right, we'll see you next time.